Okay, so remember how we left these? Our this is our this is our arched, our curvy arch piece that's going to go up with the zipper tail on there, and we scribed these lines in, and I didn't cut them off. So let's just go ahead and cut them off right on the money. All right, so um, I just lined this back up, and I put my zipper tail on top of this. And I'm going to double check that we got the right amount of length there for our cutoffs. Okay, so it's pretty important to realize which end gets the ketter welt on here. So I'm going to mark that. And then if you remember on our pattern, from, from the edge where this came around, we needed to make an extra 50 inches of Ketter welt with Velcro on it for the side zipper. Now I'm gonna make this all one continuous piece, <coughs> excuse me, because if you cut that Ketter welt right here at this joint, that creates a leak. So if the Ketter welt is solid all the way through there, you can actually overlap and flap your panels to keep the water out of there. So at this point, let's just get our, grab our zipper tail and move our top out of the way. Let's come right to the machine. And let's bind the entire zipper flap right now. All right, so I'm just gonna go through and bind the, the front and the back of this thing, and then we'll come back. All right, so we just said we need 50 inches. So let's grab, there's 50 inches right there. And I'm gonna take just a couple extra inches just for good measure. All right, now what we're going to do, that was my mark right there. So this is gonna be the up so. Here's, Here's the first thing you want to do is put, let me get my, let me get my bearings on me here. Okay, that's going to go that way. That's going to stick down there. We want Velcro there, but I want to stitch it this way. Uh, so, I don't know if you just saw that, but that's, if, you need to really sit back and think about exactly what you're doing before you start doing it. So, um, we're already starting to think about the side curtains, and we need Velcro on this Ketter well for the side curtains. All right, so to save myself time, money, energy, everything else, I've always figured out, you know, because we're gonna, you know how many times to sew something. So I only needed to stitch it on there one time because when I sew the zipper on, it will actually sew the Velcro the second time. So we only need to stitch, stitch this on here one time. Actually. Th don't have to do this. I do it because I don't like that extra Velcro over the time. Years go by, you go to a boat and that little ledge of Velcro is flapping all over the place and it's just not in the right spot. So I always like to cut it off. 
Okay, so let's get this thing oriented again. Is that the right, you know, I always say this, I say it in all my videos too. I don't know what the word, that word is. All right. Little common sense, little bit of judgment, all right? That's what I'm asking for. I measured the 50 inches, then I gave ourselves a couple extra inches so we got room to play with. And now, what I wanna do is I wanna, are you uptight right here, Bill? I'm not tight. No, 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 are you, uh, oh. zoom in a little bit, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so what I wanna do with this is I wanna, we're going to actually leave about one to one and a half inches of this tail to flap. Because when the side curtain comes in here, I want it to Velcro all the way up there, but I also want it to go underneath this flap so that we can completely seal that joint right there. So I'm gonna just estimate my one and a half inches and put it right on that Velcro edge right there. And then I can start sewing. And now when we put our side curtain in there, the Velcro can go all the way up underneath it and that thing will be zipped on. So this is gonna get stitched on twice. Okay, so I'm going to come right up here to the same thing, and I'm going to stop that about an inch and a half. And now, take my ruler again, and from the bottom edge of that, 50 inches. Just cut myself off a little bit extra there. And again, we can run. <clears throat> All right, that's a huge that's a huge tip right there. That took many 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 years of figuring out how to fig how to get those things on there. So the the objective is to keep it from leaking. Now that we have, <clears throat> we used hook out here. I also want to use hook on the balance too, so that I know that on the sides we'll put the loop just to kind of keep it consistent. So now um, I did not, if you had one and a half inch or two inch Velcro, here, um, we could have bound this in, bound the Velcro in and then just had one stitch line on the top, but I've only got the one inch Velcro, so I'm going to just sew it twice. Not, not a big deal either way you do it. Um, so <clears throat> you gotta remember this, this zipper flap is pretty important. So I will, even though I could just stretch it around this, I want that this zipper tail to be as smooth as possible. So I'll relieve, I'll re actually relieve my Velcro.
So this is an inside corner instead of an outside corner. You can see how it kind of puckers up as we sew right there. I'll show you what we do, but go ahead and you don't need to cut it now. You can just stitch it through. It's only just here on the inside. So now here, once you get to the inside, you can just put some hash marks through the other way. Now we can go ahead and do our zippers. So, um, let's throw this out of here. Okay, so we're going to start right here at the center. And remember now that this is our one and a half inch that the, we were talking about with the zipper, and that's exactly how we patterned this thing out. We, we patterned it with the intention of this zipper button right up to the welt so that it goes right into the track. So get this directionally right. So actually, you know what, that's cool. That doesn't happen very often, but that worked out just perfectly. So I don't need to put zipper stops on there as I guess. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to stop this zipper right at where we started our stitch line, okay? And then we're going to jump down with our other zipper so that we have a space, but this is going to prevent this thing from leaking with that overlap right there. This, that happens a lot with uh, when you're sewing, you know, we're sewing through Ketterwelt and we're sewing through uh, binding and Velcro. I, my needle frayed my thread there. So again, just leave yourself. I always like to put <clears throat> a spear on one side and a slide on the other side. It doesn't really make a difference which side is which. But give yourself at least half inch to three quarters of an inch so that you can get that zip together without having to fight it.
Okay. Okay, now then we can come right back behind this and move our tail out of the way. All right, so I'm just going to flap that thing back, and then again, I'm going to give myself that just a little bit of room if I can get it all underneath there. All right, so this is going to be too long. You can actually just kind of whack some of this off. It's all gonna get changed once we get to the boat, but um, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side as I just did here. But now you can see that <clears throat> the, the side curtain is gonna come in here like this and stop. Now we're gonna have the transition between the bimini top, the horizontal zipper, and then the side curtain. So those three pieces are going to come together and that will, that tail will go over the side, right? And then the, uh, the side curtain is actually going to flap over the top of the Ketter welt here so that we don't see the track as well on that side, which you'll get more into that once we get into the side, but you have to know that and you have to plan for it. When you start making this piece, you got to make it to take the other piece. So, okay. Um, I'm going to do the other side the exact same way as that, and then we'll finish up with that bimini top, and we'll be ready to go put this thing on. So, 